Hi everyone, this is Mo Rashid from Sky Driving Team UK Great Britain. I'm here again with one more educational video to help as many people like you to drive safely and pass UK test first time. In this video, this is a 2020 UK driving official DVSA question and answers complete 50 questions mock test. Uh, when you starting this mock test with me, please start to read the questions same time and focus on the questions. There are four multiple choice answers and two of them, they are very close to each other. So you need to identify the correct one, which I will be doing it with you step by step to make life easy for you to spot the correct answer as well. Uh, I have helped uh, thousands of students in London region to make them pass first time theory and the practical test. But unfortunately, currently pass rate as you're aware of it, or if you're not, I am just telling you uh, by regret and by heartbreaking, it's lowest I have ever come across. I've been instructor, uh, approved driving instructor in the UK, Great Britain, and covering in the London region since 2003. Uh, I have noticed that there's something need to be helped in a the market. There's gap for the people to uh, get them together and practice the mock tests and help them to pass. Uh, I bring you again. This is a very important 50 questions. I have completed the whole mock test with you. Question by question, correct answers given you. At the end of the mock test, you will get a full result which will help you to understand. Now, I'm very confidently saying that after completing this 50 questions, your ability to drive and same time knowledge and the skill will be far better. Uh, at the end of this, when you see the result, there are two particular questions, which I have a feeling and I come across with lots of my students, they're finding a difficulty to answer them correctly. So majority of the people, they answer them wrong. So I have purposely answered them wrong. So at the end of this mock test, you will see those two questions, which are very important to remember and memorize it. Again, they are the very, very important 50 questions from the DVSA question bank. There's a question bank on that I have developed and that do it, bring it to you. Uh, I have practiced this, bring you on the one of the best, I can say the absolutely best app in the UK, Great Britain. And at the end of the video, I would like to share with you which app you will download on your mobile device. And down after downloading, you can practice your complete mock test on a theory with a full question bank of the DVSA and the hazard perception video as well. Uh, I download and upload the videos on a YouTube on a regular basis almost every day to help as many people as possible. So please do like, share, subscribe this button, subscribe this channel and click on the bell icon so you get my all the videos regularly. Uh, if you have any things you want to come in or you want me to make any video in future to help you with the driving, please do so and I will do my best to work towards to it. So let's go towards to today's mock test. On a vehicle, where would you find a catalytic converter? On the exhaust system. On the cooling system. In the fuel tank. In the air filter. Why is it a good idea to plan your journey to avoid busy times? You'll have a more stressful journey. It will cause more traffic congestion. You'll have an easier journey. Your journey time will be longer.
You're parked on the road at night. When must you use parking lights? When you're near a bus stop. When you're facing oncoming traffic. When there are continuous white lines in the middle of the road. When the speed limit exceeds 30 mph. On a three-lane motorway, which lane should you use if there's no traffic ahead? Left Center Right Either the right or center When must you stop your vehicle? Before merging onto a motorway at the end of a one-way street. If you're involved in an incident that causes damage or injury. At a junction where there are give-way lines. You plan your route before starting a journey. Why should you also plan an alternative route? You may find you have to pay a congestion charge. You may get held up by a tractor. Your maps may have different scales. Your original route may be blocked. Why do MOT tests include an exhaust emission test? To make sure diesel and petrol engines emit the same fumes. To recover the cost of expensive garage equipment. To help protect the environment against pollution. To discover which fuel supplier is used the most. You're waiting at a level crossing. What should you do if the red warning lights continue to flash after a train has passed by? Get out and investigate. Drive across carefully. Continue to wait. Telephone the signal operator. At an incident, a casualty is unconscious but breathing. When should you move them? When there's a risk of further danger. When bystanders offer to help you. When an ambulance is on its way. When bystanders tell you to move them. You're on a smart motorway. What does it mean if a red cross is showing above the hard shoulder and mandatory speed limits above all other lanes? The hard shoulder has a speed limit of 50 mph. The hard shoulder is for emergency or breakdown use only. The hard shoulder can be used as a rest area if you feel tired. The hard shoulder can be used as a normal running lane. What should the driver of the car approaching the crossing do? Sound the horn. Drive through quickly. Continue at the same speed. Slow down and get ready to stop. A single carriageway road has this sign. What's the maximum permitted speed for a car towing a trailer? 30 mph. 40 mph 50 mph 60 mph There are no speed limit signs on the road. How is a 30 mph limit generally indicated? By double or single yellow lines. By hazard warning lines by pedestrian islands 
by street lighting. What's the legal minimum tread depth for tires on your trailer or caravan? 1.6 mm 2 mm 1 mm 2.6 mm Why should you be cautious when going past this bus waiting at a bus stop? People may cross the road in front of it. The road surface will be slippery. There's a zebra crossing ahead. There are driveways on the left. There's been a collision. A motorcyclist is lying injured and unconscious. Why should you only remove their helmet if it's essential? Removing it could make any injuries worse. They might not want you to remove it. You could scratch the helmet as you remove it. Removing it could let them get cold. What does this sign mean? Contra flow cycle lane With flow cycle lane No cycles or buses Cycles and buses only What color are the reflective studs between the hard shoulder and the left hand lane of a motorway? Red white green amber what can result when you travel for long distances in neutral known as coasting easier steering increased fuel consumption reduction in control Improvement in control You're driving along a country road. You see this sign. What should you do after dealing safely with the hazard? Check your tire pressures Accelerate briskly Test your brakes Switch on your hazard warning lights Your vehicle has broken down on a motorway. What should you do if you aren't able to get onto the hard shoulder? Stand behind your vehicle to warn others. Stop the traffic behind and ask for help. Attempt to repair your vehicle quickly. Switch on your hazard warning lights. You arrive at the scene of a motorcycle crash. The rider is injured. When should their helmet be removed? Always, unless they are in shock. Only when the motorcyclist asks. Only when it's essential. Always straight away. Which type of crossing allows cyclists to ride across while pedestrians are also crossing? Toucan Puffin Pelican Zebra What's the reason for the hatched area along the center of this road? It's a temporary marking to warn of the roadworks. It separates the two sides of the dual carriageway. It separates traffic flowing in opposite directions. 
It marks an area to be used by overtaking motorcyclists. Why is it important to make full use of the slip road as you join a motorway? Because you can continue on the hard shoulder to allow you to fit safely into the traffic flow in the left-hand lane to allow you direct access to the overtaking lanes because there's space available to turn round if you need to You're at the front of a queue of traffic waiting to turn right into a side road. Why is it important to check your right mirror just before turning? To check for emerging traffic. To look for pedestrians about to cross. To check for overtaking vehicles. To make sure the side road is clear. What should you do when you're approaching roadworks on a motorway? Speed up to clear the area quickly. Always use the hard shoulder. Stay very close to the vehicle in front. Obey the speed limit. Where should you avoid overtaking? just after a bend on a 30 mph road in a one-way street approaching a dip in the road you've just been overtaken by this motorcyclist what should you do if the rider cuts in sharply flash your lights Sound the horn. Keep a safe gap. Brake firmly. You're in the left-hand lane at traffic lights, waiting to turn left. Which signal means you must wait. Which vehicle might have to take a different course from normal at a roundabout? Long vehicle Sports car Van Estate car How should you signal if you're going straight ahead at a roundabout? Signal left just after you pass the exit before the one you're going to take. Signal right on the approach to the roundabout and keep the signal on. Signal right on the approach and then left to leave the roundabout. Signal left after you leave the roundabout and enter the new road. The road is wet. Why would a motorcyclist steer around drain covers while they were cornering? To avoid splashing pedestrians on the pavement. 
To help judge the bend using the drain covers as marker points. To avoid puncturing the tires on the edge of the drain covers. To prevent the motorcycle sliding on the metal drain covers. How can you help to prevent your car radio being stolen? Install a security coded radio. Park in an unlit area. Park near a busy junction. Leave the radio turned on. What color are the reflective studs between a motorway and a slip road? Green Red Amber White What advice should you give to a driver who has had a few alcoholic drinks at a party? Drive home carefully and slowly. Go home by public transport. Have a strong cup of coffee and then drive home. Wait a short while and then drive home. Why do motorcyclists often look round over their right shoulder just before turning right? It helps them balance as they turn. To listen for traffic behind them. To check for traffic in their blind area. Motorcycles don't have mirrors. What will become more expensive after you've been convicted of driving while unfit through drink or drugs? Driving license Road fund license Vehicle test certificate Insurance premiums What should you do when you meet an oncoming vehicle on a single track road? Carry out an emergency stop. Switch on your hazard warning lights. Stop at a passing place. Reverse back to the main road. Which sign means there's a double bend ahead? What should you do when you park a car facing downhill? Park with two wheels on the curb. Park close to the bumper of another car. Turn the steering wheel away from the curb. Turn the steering wheel towards the curb. What does this sign mean? Cycles aren't allowed. Cycle in single file. Cyclists must dismount. Cycle route ahead. What does this sign mean? Airport Road noise Side winds Adverse camber What can you do to reduce environmental damage caused by your vehicle? Use the air conditioning whenever you drive Avoid making a lot of short journeys. Use the gears to slow the vehicle. Avoid using the cruise control.
What should you do if your vehicle breaks down in a tunnel? Switch on hazard warning lights, then go and call for help. Stay in your vehicle and wait for the police. Stand in front of your vehicle to warn oncoming drivers. Stand in the lane behind your vehicle to warn others. Rules of the road. John is traveling back to university at the maximum permitted speed on a dual carriageway. He notices a clearway sign by the side of the road. At the end of the dual carriageway, there's a roundabout, and he sees a cyclist who starts off in the left-hand lane and then turns right. John then turns into a one-way street and overtakes several slow-moving vehicles. Nearing the end of his journey, John can see the university in the distance. In the next road there is a school and John notices that a lollipop lady has stepped out and is displaying the stop sign towards him. What is the national speed limit for cars and motorcycles on a dual carriageway? 60 mph 70 mph 30 mph 50 mph On a clear way, John must not stop in the rush hour at any time during daylight hours when it is busy Which of the following are most likely to take an unusual course at roundabouts? Milk floats Estate cars Long vehicles Delivery vans Where may John overtake on a one-way street? Only on the left-hand side Overtaking is not allowed on either the right or the left, only on the right-hand side. You must stop when signaled to do so by which of these? A pedestrian, a cyclist, a bus driver, a police officer. You're driving along a country road. You see this sign. What should you do after dealing safely with the hazard? Check your tire pressures. Accelerate briskly. Test your brakes. Switch on your hazard warning lights. You're in the left-hand lane at traffic lights, waiting to turn left which signal means you must wait. Congratulations, all of you completed a 50 questions and all of you answer a 50 out of 50 well done for that some of you found it a little bit difficult and trust me after these 50 questions all of yours all of you in every single of you your knowledge has increased and these are the questions which you have covered they are quite hard and a bit tricky let's come towards to this uh, special 
uh, clip which I'm making and adding for you at the end of this video. Driving Test Success is a, one of the best app in the market in the UK Great Britain which you can download and practice official questions from the DVSA for the UK car theory test. In this, you will have uh, activate the pass guarantee and you will get the money back if you are not successful. You have to follow the criteria. They give you five mock tests consisting you have to pass. All the practice questions are here with the one click. Each category, so you go through it and completed all the questions one by one. After that, you can take a mock test, the same mock test which I have done it now, which you can see it. All those questions, they are exactly questions, including a scenario or situation based at the last five questions you will get in your actual theory day. Same time, the questions which you want to search afterwards, if you think is uh, you need to practice more, you can type in the questions will come up. Or while you are reading or are doing a mock test or a study and you can uh, save your questions, which comes in a my question, which will give you a uh, whole list of the questions which you like to read again. There will be those your questions and they will be there for you till you complete confident and release them from the my questions list. Then after that, at the drop down, you will see a progress monitor. It will keep your progress individually for the every mock test. The areas which you are reading, like a practicing categories by categories, will give you a feedback and tells you where you are stands. Underneath, you will see a stopping distance. Every one of us finding a difficulty to find a stopping distance because this is the calculation, a mathematic which you do hit, or you can memorize it based on the speed 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 miles and a stopping distance in a rain or a dry condition as well. Same time, it will give you help and support. This is the app I've been using since 2000. Actually, this is uh, I've been using since 2003, but it was in a CD ROM and I used to give it to my students to practice and pass. Uh, I've been instructed since 2003 and, and this app, uh, it's changed from CD-ROM to an app. Now everybody can download to into their Android or iOS phone. Uh, I want to help all of you, every single of you, every single of the person in the UK Great Britain to pass the TU test first time. Uh, I cannot go and find everyone because I have a limited of time myself to teach everyone. So please spread this word and share this video, like this video, subscribe and click on the channel and click on the bell icon so you will get the all new notifications or new videos regularly. I'm making a video on a regular basis and you will get them. I'm on a mission to help as many as people to pass theory and the practical test for the UK Great Britain. So please help me and share this video. See you in the next video. Till then, you look after yourself and Lord of this universe bless you with lots of love happiness and success. Amen.